What is going on, everybody out there in YouTube land, out there in podcast land, wherever land that you... <laughs> damn it, Anika, she screwed me up. So I was, I was trying to do, I was trying to do it like all that. But anyway, welcome to a brand spanking new episode of Ready Set Action Commentaries. I am your host, Mike, and as always, I have my international co-host Anika here with me, all the way from Ontario, Canada. What's going on, Anika? Hey, Mike. Hey, guys. How's it going? I don't know. They they can't answer. They can only answer on the on the chat. That's true. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to uh, yes another new episode of Ready Set Action Commentaries. We are doing the second Homer Bound film, uh, Homer Bound Lost in San Francisco. And uh, just a quick heads up. Yes, our uh, our last podcast last night got copyrighted, and it got taken down uh, by my YouTube. Uh, damn you to hell, YouTube. They just they do it to the they do they seriously do it to the best accounts, don't they? They, they just, do honestly. They get me too. <laughs> well, anyway, um, uh, we're not gonna get like in a really long monologue here, but I did I I actually just saw a movie that we definitely need to do here um, after February. I think I'm because I think I have the choice. I I can't remember what I chose last night um, for uh, the first film that we're doing in March, but. I definitely have two picks because I don't know. Um, oh, I also forgot to bring this up, people. So in April, in mid-April, Anika and I will be we will be bringing you a total of five podcasts. Or actually, no, we're going to be bringing you seven podcasts in the span of two weeks uh, because I know it's actually you know what it's actually kind of interesting because. So in April, we will be doing five Land Before Time films. We're not going to be doing the whole series of Land Before Time. We're only going to be doing five films. Um, but we wanted to do those. And then we're going to be doing, of course, the choices that me and Anika choose. Uh, wanted to just give you guys a quick heads up on that. But um, other than that, you know, I don't know. I think, hold on. There we go. I needed to just adjust my microphone just real quickly so that way it could get up on my level. Anyway, um, so we are about two and a half minutes into this. And oh, yeah, I almost forgot to mention uh, the drink of the night is sponsored by I said I had a good one tonight is sponsored by Tillamore Tillamore Dew or no, not Tillamore Dew proper 12 proper 12 Irish whiskey. Very good stuff. It is Conor McGregor's own whiskey that he uh, that he invested in, that he made uh, his own company. And sorry about this again. I got to adjust my mic. It's always a pain in the ass when you always have to adjust like the equipment and everything. So true. <laughs> I can relate. Oh, I know. We can all we can all relate to this. But anyway, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm having a problem with I'm probably a problem with my boom on here. So I think what I'll do is just raise the mic up so that way it's just right here on my level. But anyway, um, I think it is time that me and Anika get started into this movie. Uh, what do you think, Anika? You think we should get started I, on this? Yes, absolutely. Let's ready to rock and roll in the next adventure. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, let me go. Disney Plus for some reason on my on my end is just like so incredibly slow. And I never have time to pause it at the right moment. But anyway, if you guys want to tune in with us, go ahead and pull up uh, Homer Bound 2 on Disney Plus. Because that, of course, is the you know streaming service that it is on. Um, be sure to pull up uh, pull up Homer Bound 2, Lost in, or Lost in San... I almost said Lost in New York. This isn't Home Alone. Um, <laughs> Homer Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco... And be sure to pause it at zero seconds. And as soon as we say ready, set, action, go ahead and press play. And again, let me go. I'm trying to adjust my mic. I'm sorry. Like, I'm like one of those. I'm like one of those people that has to get everything perfect. And I think I and I think I just got everything perfect right now. Hold on a second. Go ahead and bring this up there we go now everybody can hear me properly can you hear me properly everybody good i'm glad you can hear me but anyway um let's go ahead and get into this uh so nika are you all set i'm all set 
All righty then. So, quite on the set. Quite on the set. Ready, set, action. Once again, the old Walt Disney. That's always that's always just a great little throwback right there. Yes, that classic one. Do you know what one movie we need to totally do? And it's one of my all-time favorites. Oh, the Adventures I, I got... of Tom and Huck. <laughs> oh my! Whoa! Well, you know what? I'm just I'm just glad that the movie itself is not like the book. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. So I just realized what movie that we did need to do that I that I mentioned. Uh, we need to do Air Bud. Yes. So he said he. So Chance just said it's two years. So has it been two years since the events of? Uh, that is definitely not the dog from the first film. That is definitely not the the dog Chance from the first film. There's no way. Yeah. The not the either. same dog. I'm starting to think maybe I want to get an American Bulldog now. Yeah. Oh my god. You know what's been hearing for a while on lately? The bully ban in the UK, which is horrible. Wait, the bully ban? Yes, in the U in the UK. Like what is that about? Apparently, so by February the first, if no one does not have their bully breed registered or Whenever dogs are in the pound, they're going to be euthanizing them. So people are actually protesting. Oh my them. gosh! Wow, that's yeah. They're protesting. They're saying, "Don't blame the breed." It's um, it's. I agree. Yeah, cool. you you can't really b blame the breed because uh, pit bulls have such pit bulls have such a like pit bulls have such a horrible reputation of being a very violent dog, and they're not violent. The pit bulls are some of the more gentle, gentle breeds of dogs. Ah, I agree. There she is, Miss Sally Field, returning, of course, to Sassy. Okay, that's a bit. That's a that's a little bit too close up. -y. <laughs> <laughs> kitty, kitty soccer. <laughs> kitty soccer. <laughs> and this is a real. This is a danger when you have pets. That is a danger when you have pets, is them running up the stairs and tripping you. Oh my gosh, I totally agree. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, yeah, you know what? I'm on I'm on Bob's side this time. Like I'm just like, yeah, uh, your cat just fucking tripped me, but guess what? I'm fine. I'm perfectly freaking fine. Don't ask me don't ask me if I if I'm if I'm hurt. Boxers. <laughs> <laughs> hey sassy asked do you prefer boxers or briefs i don't my preference of choice is i go boxers because boxers provide a a, a a very decent amount of comfort and also protection as well yes not to mention support agreed <laughs> iams come on cannot go wrong with iams Blue Ribbon Dog Food, though, or no, not Blue Ribbon Dog Food. I can't remember the other brand. These kids have grown so fast. They really have. I mean, it's it's been a it's been a couple of years since since uh, the first events. Jamie has a girlfriend. But he does not have a girlfriend. That kid that kid is too young to be having no da be too young to be having a damn girlfriend. But no, um, Purina, Pedigree, uh, Iams, and I, uh, Blue Buffalo. Those are some of the best brands of dog food that anybody can get out there. And I always, I always gave my dog. I always fed my dogs. I we always bought them Iams. Oh yes. For me, I try to go more home cook if I can sometimes, and I mix with the kibble. You know what, Jamie? You know what? Let Chance chew on the Barry Bonds baseball, okay? Barry Bonds is a fucking cheater. <laughs> if you really wanted a baseball that had value, make sure you get Ken Griffey Jr.'s autograph. Because this was back in 1996. Griffey was the star of the league. <laughs> How does he smell that all the way upstairs? Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. Don't eat the donut. 
What the f- <laughs> Wait a minute, that dog's had two breakfasts? Man, what are you doing to this dog? You're going to make this dog, you're going to turn this dog into fucking Garfield. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> and, just, and, he got the, and he got the damn donut. I do always love how dogs have so, like, some dogs have so much energy um, even after they eat. <laughs> Chance just licking his lips. <laughs> I tell you, my dogs love like the honey curler donuts. <laughs> they used to like the the honey curl. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I I know I know what you're talking about. They, we call it a, we call it different here out out in America. Really? What do you guys call it over there? I think we call it a bear claw. Bear claw. <laughs> I don't know. Like honey curl. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> bye bye, kitty. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm just seeing the I'm just seeing the honey curl now. I, so we do not call those anything else. Uh we just call them like a glazed donut. Glazed donut? <laughs> oh please, what can a fucking Himalayan cat do to an American bulldog? Nothing. <laughs> Now, I do really like the uh, cameos right here very quickly. Uh, we have Al Michaels, Tommy Lasorda, and Bob Euchre making cameos right here. Uh, Al Michaels, of course, is a very well-known sports broadcaster. Tommy Lasorda, uh, God rest his soul, was a former Major League Baseball player and coach for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And, of course, Bob Euchre is known so well for being the broadcaster in Major League, and he's a very great Major League Baseball broadcaster. Hmm. Trick, Trixie Euchre. That lassie is so <laughs> beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Trixie Euchre. I love how they just kept the name. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Sparky Michaels, Lucky Lasorda, and Trixie Euchre. Okay, so they all kept their last names. German Shepherds are just some of the more beautiful dogs. Oh my gosh, yes. I had my, my mom's German Shepherd, like she was just like full of life, man. She was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Tasty leather. Oh no. This, this is not going to end well. Oh dear. No, no. There he goes. What are you talking about, a crazed fan? It's a Oh, for God's sakes. Stop commenting on everything. You're not you're not making anything entertaining. <laughs> huh? Oh my that had to be the that had to be the stupidest thing I've heard so far in this movie. Was that it? Was that? Did that? These man, they like, so mean. Dude, get a haircut. Tell me. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's a girl or a boy. It sounded like a boy, and if it's a boy, seriously, get a haircut. <laughs> oh, he's gone. First of all, anybody who actually puts yellow as their primary color for their teams, it doesn't work with baseball. Wow. Chance <laughs> is gone. Oh, it was a girl. Okay, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a female dog. I can tell it's a female dog. No, no, no. It, no, the girl. No, the, the, the one that he okay. snatched the glove with. Uh, I was wondering if it was a boy or a girl, and it was a girl. Oh, oh no. I noticed that Chance... Like oh never mind sorry I, I just noticed something mm. I thought oh you're wondering oh you're wondering if Chance is a boy or yeah <laughs> I love it I love it when dogs do that right there when they just lay down in the front but they keep their ass in the air 
yeah the reason why i said it because like there was something missing that's why i was like looking like oh okay i did not know <laughs> oh why did you have to say so okay i had I know. I think I know what you saw was missing. Okay, Nika, geez, Louise, you don't need to have that much of a dirty mind. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh! I'm going to hell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow is so pretty. I don't. Just, I and Shadow, and do, you, do you notice of how younger that golden retriever looks as an old dog? Yes. Look at his eyes. Beautiful. Oh no! Please don't. <laughs> oh my gosh! He puked. Ew. That is gross. <laughs> Oh man, is that the Golden Gate Bridge? I think that is. Yes. San Francisco International Airport. I have actually flown into um, San Francisco International twice, and I actually oh, Canadians. Oh, they're flying. There you go. They fly. They're flying Canadian. Hey. The hey. The <laughs> only Canadian. The only uh, airplane that I've actually seen over at SeaTac International when when I work on the ramp, the Canadian International, is I have not seen any of the of the boeing jets like the uh of the ones uh like the 737s or whatever but i've seen the ones that have propellers on them oh. <laughs> the only gray that i see in um in shadow is on his face but yes just a hint there So here's a th here's a funny thing about like when I so for everybody out there who does not know I am a ramp agent over at the airport. So my job is to basically get the plane ready for takeoff, put all the luggage in there, either stack the luggage or put them onto the belt loaders or uh, power stoves. And whenever we have whenever we have to put dogs on, uh, we make sure that these that those pets are taken very good care of. Like if they're barking, we make sure that we interact with them, make them feel very safe and all that. And, you know, kind of like put our fingers through the, through the bars and just like, you know, scratch your ears if we can. I always make sure I do that. I always make sure I do that. What is, no, they're no, not, no, they're not. They're not taking you to any bad place. They're just putting you on a plane. Chill out. Oh my gosh. Chance. Boy, dog. Oh, forgot. No, Chance. Quit. Move it. Quit moving around. Damn it. Oh. Oh, God damn it. Damn it, Chance. Oh, no. And that's the worst part is that if a. The worst part is, and I don't think a lot of people know this, is that if an animal actually gets loose on the ramp. This is going to sound very morbid. I know this. I actually do know this. But if an animal gets loose on the ramp and it is running on the ramp, there are snipers out there to shoot them. Are you kidding me? They have to. It is a oh, rule. No. Oh it is. Gosh. It's a horrible rule. It is a very horrible rule. I did not know of that. That's crazy. Like they should. Oh. The only time that they that they that they don't shoot them is when the ramp agents are able to get control of the animal. But if the oh, okay. animal is out, the reason why they have to shoot him is because the animal is most likely to get um, sucked into an engine of an airplane. I, Oh my gosh. I know it's, I know it sounds morbid. I know it sounds morbid people, but it, that is, that is just, Nobody thinks that's weird that two dogs and a cat are right there in front of the ticket booth. <laughs> Seriously? I was looking like, oh, free the pup. Yeah, oh, my God. None of the people think this is weird. What the fuck? For, for crying out loud, I, I, I swear. <laughs> oh. 
Batman <laughs> security breach. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh really? So chance is gonna kill you, but last but a couple of years ago when you were fighting mountain lions and bears, you didn't think that was gonna kill you? <laughs> Nope, they're not. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're enjoying the airport life, man. Just for a moment. I can see why they have... Uh, hey, I... You know, they can I ain't gonna lie. Too. Hey, come on. The airport life is a good life. You're talking You're talking to a ramp agent here, right? I mean, you're talking to somebody who works out on the ramp. I love the airport life. It's a, it's a fun life. Yes. Hey, man, it's cool seeing planes... Go in the air. And, of course, good food at the airports. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you, you say good food, but it all depends on what food you're eating. I mean, oh, really? Okay. The, I mean, there there's a place uh, that, I, that I've gone to a couple times where I've gotten pizza from them. And I'm never going to get pizza from them again because they make their pizza so crappy. Oh. And I'm just like, and I'm just like, to hell with it. It's not worth the price I'm paying. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so dangerous. No, oh, Lord, no, not on the runway. See, this is why this is why they have snipers at the airports. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That is crazy. Good. Sweet crap. That had to be some visual effects right there. Had to be. It had no. You're absolutely right. It had to be. <laughs> oh my god! Ew, dude, come on. Uh, you were obviously scared because you pissed yourself. Now, the rap agency, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, sassy! I'll run. You stay here and get hit. Has there other been other exotic animals that you've seen on the ramps before? Yes, actually. So, so not on the ramp, but I've actually have had to put in some very exotic animals on flights. Uh, a couple, like a month in, when I was a ramp agent, I actually had to put several Asian water monitors on a flight going to Florida. Oh. <laughs> I love. First of all, for everybody out there, look up Asian water monitors, and they look and they look almost exactly like Komodo dragons. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, good lord, kitty. Oh, <laughs> oh you idiots! You dingle dorks didn't even make an attempt to grab the dog. He got like sucker. He's like. I could do it. <laughs> but no, getting back onto San Francisco International. So I've flown there twice and it's actually a really nice airport. Very nice airport. There was there was actually a restaurant there. I don't know if it's still there because it it's been 10 years since I've flown in there. But there was a restaurant there that had unbelievable chicken wings. I'm hoping to God it's still there. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Stinky skunks, porcupines. Uh, yeah, you were the one who got bit in the face by its butt. <laughs> you waiting for that bus, Chance? <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, like, like you're gonna go back to sassy and just sit there and wait for that bus. <laughs> so we walk and walk. <laughs> I feel like animals could just walk over a hundred miles in a day. And you know what? Chihuahuas are not dogs. Okay. They are, they are rats that look like dogs. They're, they're the devil, man. I, I've seen Chihuahuas. So no, I, if out of all the dogs in the world, I hate Chihuahuas. I hate Chihuahuas because they are, they are the most, annoying, annoying dogs in the world. I do not consider them dogs at all. I just don't. Have you seen some of those YouTube videos where those chihuahuas just kind of like go berserk? 
Oh my god. Ugh. Gag me with a fucking spoon. Oh, Jan, poor Chance is hungry. Who'd have, thro <laughs> Who'd have thrown this out? Oh, he's hungry. <laughs> he's like food. Yeah, but if you're hungry enough, you will. So shut up. <laughs> Probably because, you know, if, if it rains... Okay, even okay, why is it that even in a movie like yawning is actually contagious? That really sucks. It is. I tend to yawn to myself, so <laughs> it's a habit. Go in the box, chance. Check it out. Here come the SCs and the homies, you know. Okay, Roka <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, I didn't I'm really hoping I did not offend anybody with that one. I, I was I was just making a joke. <laughs> Sorry, people. Again, I'm not trying to offend anybody. <laughs> Actually, that is true. Like, that's one of the worst smells out there. Even as a dog owner, I hated the smell when my dogs were wet. <laughs> Me too. I had to bathe my dog like every I don't every like, is it sleep. like. You know the weird thing about owning a dog? Like, if it's cold outside and it's not wet, when when your dog comes in, they, they kind of, like, smell like ham. Yes. Kind of, yeah. Depends. I try to keep them clean as much as I can. I just want to please gotten sprayed by skunks before in the past. Oh, that was the worst. Oh, no! Not the doggy with the, the spraying by the skunk? Ugh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Terriers, they will like, fight anything. Oh, no. That's That's got to be the worst. It was, but it was good memories. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the so the the two best dogs that I've ever owned was of course a a golden retriever and a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, I had my I had so my Yorkshire Terrier that I had I had for seven and a half years. Um, I had him for the rest of his life. He was seven when we when I got him, so he lived to be fourteen and a half years old uh, before we had to put him down, unfortunately. But when it came to giving that Yorkshire Terrier a bath. <laughs> that dog, like, <laughs> I never expected to hear Michael J. Fox turn into Tupac. Yes. Uh, but no, like, when it came to bathing that Yorkshire Terrier, that Yorkie, the way he looked when he got, was getting, was getting a bath, he was just like, he was so dramatic. <laughs> Have you seen Girl, Girl with the Dogs on YouTube? Oh my god, they're they're so annoying. Yes. We crossed the, the golden bridge. We crossed the golden bridge. Shout out to the girl with the girl. Um, shout out to the girl for the dogs. She does fantastic work, and she knows every breed. She's funny though to watch. I she does she does. So I think it's kind of funny, but um, uh, Will Sasso is in this movie. Who <gasps> he's in. Yes. Uh, so, so Will Sasso is very famous for playing Curly in the 2022 uh, film reboot of the of the Three Stooges. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God! Poodles. Poodles are. So, you know what? Poodles are the epitome of 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 being French. They're stuck yes. up and they suck. Dude, okay, real quickly, I, I'm a cigar smoker. You do not toss your cigars like that. You make sure that your cigar is out before you toss it. Because they can cause fires. Exactly. Oh. You fat ass. This is Jasper and Horace's um, cut relatives, you know? I feel like it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get it? He looks like more Jasper in the car. He's like a Horus. <laughs> that guy is Horus. The guy in the driver's seat is Jasper because, as we all know, Horus, Horus is the fat one. Uh, you're caught, dude. Oh, 
Try looking in a mirror. Did he ju- did she just call him a fat gray poupon? Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody even know what poupon is? That's actually that's I think that's ow. He deserved it too, man. Trying to steal that. He dog. did. Okay. He deserved to just get hit in the fucking head. Or bang. Oh. Oh, that's a, that to that's a big ass piss stain. Oh, geez. Oh, that oh, the girl, she got him good. <laughs> How do you? How did you not notice? How did you not feel? I I want to know. How did you not feel that dog peeing on you? <laughs> oh my gosh, worst feeling ever, man. I wonder, really? Can you, actually, can you hop on those for free? The San Francisco thing? I have no idea. I've never done a trolley in San Francisco before. I don't know if I ever. <laughs> Son of a bitch. They're getting their portrait taken for free. Hey, there's Alcatraz. I really, I would, that is a go-to for me, okay? I know it's a tourist trap, but I want to go to Alcatraz, okay? Because one, one of the best movies of all time was filmed on the island of Alcatraz. Uh, the Clint Eastwood film Escape from Alcatraz. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> hey Shadow, you're a retriever. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Why does it have to Okay, really? She said it didn't look fresh to me and he ca- and she called the guy crabby at a seafood cell. Why? Just just, just just why? And also, why why did it have to be an Asian selling the seafood? That's very stereotypical. Yes. Kitty, kitty. Like, seriously? You're... Oh, by the way, I'm just noting the kid is uh, drinking Coca-Cola. Yes. I have actually just recently started drink uh, started uh, drinking Coca Cola for the last couple months. Yeah, I, I stopped. I stopped drinking Pepsi. Oh no, the kid is afraid of dogs. What? No! <laughs> you stupid canine son of a whore! You really just said meow. And you really thought that you were going to get food. <laughs> Damn you to hell, Michael J. Fox, for doing that. <laughs> All right, let, Sh- let Shadow do it, man. Shadow. Oh, man. my gosh. No, it's it's so embarrassing that. A half a year to get to get toilet to get uh paper trained, you said. <laughs> huh. All right, now they're in the territory. Now they ain't hood. Oh, good lord! <laughs> By the way, John uh P- uh Polito and Adam Goldberg. Doing the voice of Ashcan and Pete. Oh my god, so cute. How do I have it? They look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you from, friend? It's stupid. The way she said that was the. I don't know. That was the best line of the movie right there. And where are you from? Or, or where are you from, Planet Stupid? <laughs> Ow! Ooh, that, that ex- even though I don't have a tail, that actually still hurt. He actually <laughs> bit his tail. They look like they're playing, but I know they're not. But they're doing a great job at, at, at the, these. These animals are very well trained. I will say that. Uh, yes, they had to know each other. Yes, because like the way the- <laughs> they're like a big family. <laughs> 
you know majority of these dogs actually some of them came I have no idea but I and they've been trained I I love that Adam Goldberg was in this film. I love that Adam Goldberg was in this movie. <laughs> Uh, Carlo uh, uh, Gugino uh, playing Delilah right there. I love Carlo. She is such a great actress. Oh, <laughs> oh terrier, just like Scooter. Oh, uh, oh, you named your you named your terrier Scooter. I did. Yes. Oh, 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 oh! I've actually taken one of those to the head once, and it hurts. Oh. Oh my gosh. Good God. Oh, by the way, look who it is. It's our first Sinbad movie. Oh man, Sinbad. I loved every movie that he was in. I loved every single friggin' movie that he was in. (laughs) There's actually a Disney movie that we should do that Sinbad starred in, uh, The First Kid. The First Kid? Oh, my god! You've gosh, never seen that one? one? I've seen it a long time ago. So, uh, I think it's so funny because Sinbad has been in three different Disney films. It was Homer Bound 2, then he did uh, The First Kid, then he did Jingle All the Way. Oh, that one was epic with him and Arnold Schwarzenegger. That was really hilarious. Oh, come on. Like that it, it was just awesome with Arnold. Oh, wait a minute. No, that wasn't a Disney film. Uh it was a 20th Century Fox film. Sorry. But in 1997, he actually played in Good Burger. <gasps> yes. I'm, I'm and he re- and he reprised his wo- role in uh for Good Burger 2 as Mr. Wheat. <laughs> Mr. Wheat. <laughs> Where'd Delilah go? That dude really does sound like that really that dude really does sound like a friggin' uh a hick. Where'd Delilah go? Kind of goofy, kind of like a goofy kind of. <laughs> you know who he you know who he actually kind of reminds me of? He almost reminds me of Gomer Pyle. <laughs> oh, that dog is so pretty. The way how she runs. <sighs> Oh my gosh! Um, so um, I'm trying to find the best way. To, so it's a Hungarian breed of a flock guardian dog. Um, uh, what Delilah is right here? I cannot really pronounce it that well. Hold on, let me see if I can pronounce this well. A kuvas, a kuvas. I, okay, real quickly, Aniki, you can look up the breed all you want. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but. Um, is it just me or did Chance look a little fat right there? Also, that was a totally different dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a totally different dog than Chance was. It's amazing. How many did? But, any, but anyway, so yes, um, Delilah here is a Hungarian breed of flock guardian dogs. Oh, yeah. But those dogs, they, they love like protecting like the life. That is... I, I'm not gonna lie, that is such a beautiful, beautiful dog. I know, so pretty. The Chancenator? Dude, you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you just got bested, Chance. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> 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 you got beat by a girl. By the way, that wasn't a misogynistic comment. That was just my 90s kid coming out of me. <laughs> no, wasn't that, like Anika, wasn't that like all the 90s 90s guys back then? Like if you actually got beat by a girl, everyone's just like, ha ha, you got beat by a girl. It's so true. Yes. That back then, yes. <laughs> and also the cooties back then. Too. Oh yeah, the cooties. I, I forgot about the cootie stage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we're reliving our childhood and j- just watching a movie. We are, you know, at the same time too, actually reflecting, you know, back on our lo- our lovable pets as well too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's such a beautiful dog. Ew, and she just drooled. 
she's thirsty. <laughs> oh my god, that, that dog is drooling like hell. Look at that dog. <laughs> It was so a kiss. You were licking the hell out of Chance. You were. Okay, let's try this again. I'm Delilah Chance. Delilah Chance. Wow, your last name is the same as my first name. Son of a bitch. Why? Uh, Jasper, Hori is run. Oh, by the way, I so um the van that they're driving is exactly just like FedEx vans. Like it, you've you've seen the FedEx vans like that, right? Yes, I do. Those are some of the worst vans to ever drive because um, as a former delivery driver, um, there was there was actually a couple days where I've driven the... How many cigars does this guy smoke a day? Well, anyway. <clears throat> no, so I've, I've driven those vans and they're so horrible because there was a point in the day where I was driving the vans and you could actually smell the exhaust coming into coming into the van it was so bad oh my gosh you want you want to know what's worse actually i used to be a driver helper for ups before oh and those uh trucks being those cars during winter was like horrible oh my gosh freezing it's not being like in a freezer well now that well i i've actually heard that ups has actually upgraded their vans now they have now oh <laughs> So I so I'm reading right up here that uh, Sinbad is playing Riley, a Labrador Retriever mix, and I can actually see the Labrador. I can actually see the the lab mix right there. That's a pretty color. Oh my gosh, like like a nice like chocolate color. <laughs> so Ross um, um, Malinger is playing uh, Spike, the Jack Russell Terrier, right there. And he uh, actually uh, played uh, TJ in the Disney animated series Recess, and he's also uh, he also played uh, Jonah Baldwin in the 1993 movie Sleepless in Seattle. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Jumped right into the damn hole. Oh yeah, it's definitely a hole. Great, great, great commentary right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Show her the town. <laughs> to sit. Food. Did he just run into something again? Yeah, he just run. He just ran into something again. Crying out loud. This is so cute. They're having a nice little walk together. One thing that I will say about San Francisco that I do love are is this park. I, I've seen a lot of photos of this park. I can't remember what what the park is called, but um, I've heard so many great things from this, but I mean, this is the '90s. It, it used, it was a nice place in the '90s. I can only imagine what it was, what it is right now, because there, there, there's so many places in big cities now that have been overtaken by homeless and drug addicts. So I, I can only imagine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to diss the parks right now, but it's, but it's just the truth. The bad place. Okay. Nice, nice job. The bad place. Hmm. Oh, that is, that, that's not even, that's not even a Labrador. That's not even a lab mix. That is a brown. That's a chocolate lab. Oh, that is so cute. So pretty. Wow. Are you fucking sh Oh that is cruel. That is terrible. Oh my god. That is the cruelest thing that anybody could. So instead of taking this pup, 
to a rescue facility. You put the dog out on the street. You horrible fucking heartless human beings. That's what Batty says. Humans can't feel anything. They're numb. Oh. down. <laughs> okay. You know, I normally don't get very appalled. That is the worst. I hope those people in the movie. Actually, I'm not going to say it because I, I think we would actually get banned. But that is the. If I ever saw anybody abandon a puppy like that, I would actually intentionally crash my car into theirs, pull both of them out of the car and beat the living fucking shit out of them. That is no, I'm an animal lover. No, you I do. do you do not abandon an animal. You do not abandon a puppy like that. That is cruel. I'll tell you this too, Mike. You know, any animal abusers go to go to prison, man. They they get beat up for sure. Prison people do not like animal abusers. <laughs> they don't. Prison people. So do not. no, I've actually. So here's the thing. So speaking of prison, so I've heard that. I have heard that uh, prisoners do not like animal abusers or, you know, the other, you know, the other people that they don't like. Yes. yes. So I'm not going to say it right here. So I'm trying to figure out why Michael Vick still ha doesn't have bruises still. No, that I like, I know that I'm, I'm kind of like showing a little anger on this podcast, but I'm sorry, but that scene really upset me because uh because again i'm an animal lover and for you for someone to abandon a puppy because your kid doesn't like the puppy how about this how about you ask around your neighborhood and say hey we have a puppy because our son doesn't like it would you like to buy this puppy off us no, you abandon the dog on the in the in the middle. That people, people like that, that angered me. That angered me so much. I'm so pissed off. I com I haven't seen this movie in a very very long time. I I I, I completely forgot about that that scene. That angered me a lot. And for everybody out there, if you abuse an animal in front in front of me, or if you abandon an animal in front of me, I'm gonna kick your ass. Ugh. I even call all people when it's when it's hot weather. I say, "Hey, your dog needs some water." There you go. I call there you them. go. I tell them. Although they say, "Oh, our dog is fine," I say, "No, no, just let you know your dog needs water." I could tell he's thirsty. That was that was oh so that was actually a thing when I was uh going to community college one time is I had to bring my I had to bring my Yorkie with me to school because don't steal the kids don't steal the kids hot dog <laughs> anyway so I had to bring my Yorkie with me uh to school and I did not want to leave him in the car so I brought so I brought that I brought that Yorkshire Terrier to class i told him to lay down right there by my leg and he laid down he was he was perfect for the whole hour and a half and i thought it was i thought it was funny because my professor he looked down and he's like why is there a dog in this class and i was like do you want me to leave my dog in the car and he's like no 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 i don't want to leave you to argue in the car i'm like well there you go <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well said. <laughs> this is like a Lady in the Tramp moment right here. There was another Disney movie that was um, filmed in uh, parts of San Francisco. I got to bring it up. Uh, George of the Jungle. Yes, I remember that. Ah, oh, man. I, I just, I don't know. Like, we've, we've reviewed George of the Jungle before on this podcast, but I feel like Anika and I should do that podcast um together but it's just like oh i don't know like because we've done it 
Oh, I just noticed that the guy that Jasper right there has a Golden State Warriors hat right there in the front. <laughs> You sick. Oh, you're you're sick, dude. What is your issue with dogs? Uh, no, dude. Duh. See? What did I tell you? You put your cigar out or you're going to start a fire. Mm -mm. And 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 look what why that house for like uh, yeah 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 must i get even more angry i don't know i don't know what the point of getting angry anymore is it's, it's a movie but it's just so this, it's it's just upsetting me <laughs> so so that's where hercules lives from sandlot remember <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I remember that movie. That, I, we have yet to do that movie on this podcast. I think we should do it um, here very, very soon. Yes, that movie was very hilarious. That's one of the best baseball films of all time. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I'm trying to remember if uh, John uh, Polito actually uh, was in the uh, was in the Sopranos. <laughs> the way how he's speaking over is just so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> the look on this dog's face is just so cute. I, I was gonna say the same thing. And the way how they have that bone in their, the the toy bone in their mouth, like. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. The wow! Oh. That is some serious skills just to, hold, <laughs> just to jump on his back. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are idiots. <laughs> so, uh John John Polito actually has some uh credentials in a lot. I I'm just looking at his credentials. He was actually in um an episode of uh, two and a half men. I actually remember that episode. I actually remember uh, he played uh, Mr. Shapira uh, Sh or Sharepas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I remember that episode. It was the episode called He Smelled the Ham He Got Excited. I actually remember that one. And he's been on a lot of TV shows as well as in uh, a lot of Batman productions. He was in uh, the television series uh, Batman Beyond and he also made, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, he made uh, some appearances in Batman video games, uh, Batman Arkham Origins, and Batman Arkham Underworld. Oh, <laughs> oh dear Lord. That fire is crazy. Fire's crazy. Yeah. First of all, I'm actually really glad that they use that they use control fires, of course, in these stunts. Seriously, follow the dog, you little scaredy cat. Oh, <laughs> real quick, <laughs> real quickly, real quickly, isn't isn't it kind of ironic? I called the kid a scaredy cat, and he's not scared of cats. <laughs> yes, I'm curious, like how did that dog? Oh my god. In that room, in that house with the fire. I don't know. That's crazy how the acting. And is. Sassy is still in the house. Oh, for God's sake, you're worrying about the stinking kitty cat? Wait, so she's actually getting the, the kitten then. <laughs> is Sassy getting the kitten? I think so. I think that's what, that's what she's actually doing. My boy Peter. Hey, if I if if I knew that my dog was still in the house with a fire going, I would have gone in after my dog. I would have gone in after. I would have gone in after my dog. I I'm being. A oh my goodness! Oh, for oh. fuck's he, sakes! He did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh my lord. <laughs> you rescued you rescued that kitty to just to get an award? Damn you to hell, Sassy. By the way, I forgot to mention that Trisha Campbell is doing uh voice acting in this movie. She's actually voicing uh Sledge, uh the and I love Trisha Campbell. She was in uh, House Party, the the Hasp, the, or <clears throat> excuse me, the House Party trilogy. Oh wait, are we talking about Trisha Campbell from Martin? Right, I think. That yeah, is. yeah. Oh, I think she was. Was she in Martin? I Hold on. Yeah, she was in Martin. I forgot about. I forgot she was in Martin. Starting Martin Lawrence, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. Home sweet home. Hey, it's not the fancy, but home sweet home. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Like, so you, you got some property right there on the right there on the by the bay. You're not paying taxes. You're not paying a high rent bill. You got it made. <laughs> 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 Stupid cat. And I'm stupidly starting to get annoyed with you, you stupid, stupid cat. <laughs> <He's not thinking laughs> <of chance. laughs> Aww, this is Aww. They slept together. <laughs> Ouch, bow wow. Quit yawning. See, like, I'm starting. Oh. <sighs> See? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were doing more than kissing, kid. I know this is a Disney movie, but. Get it out! <laughs> Wait, see, like, both. Exactly. But Delilah, I thought, what about me? Who are you? I'm her. I mean, I was going to be her. Uh, you're not anything. Nothing but a hound dog. Nothing but a hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, ho, ho. He's the peacemaker. Bad joke. Really bad joke on my part. <laughs> hey, that's racism. Yeah. Michael Bell, by the way, doing um the voice of that uh that Portuguese uh Paden Padengo. They don't want to separate. <laughs> no, they don't. <clears throat> I love how Michael Bell has so many credentials in so many uh, animated films and so many animated, uh, you know, just uh, productions, including the Rugrats. Oh, he's thinking about his boy, Jamie. And actually, Jamie does mm -hmm. miss Chance. Actually, Jamie was so mean to Chance in the beginning part. And now he's he to really was because, and it was, and it was all just for nothing. Chance is in love. <laughs> We've all been there, Chance. Okay, we've all fallen in love before. Dosh, kissing him. Give her some tongue, Chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that, that, I think I kind of ruined it with the way that, with what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, I ruined everything. <laughs> it's oh my god, check out Peter with the walk man. Okay. 
Oh, don't lie. You are worried about your dog. Exactly. They found their way home once. They can do it again. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the second movie. Exactly. <laughs> you know, there's another movie series that I actually kind of want us to do here in a few months. I know that we said that we wouldn't do trilogies, but I can't. I can't help it, but I really want to do. I really want to get into the Free Willy movies. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. And neither have I. It's been a very, 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 very long time since I've seen those movies. And there was uh, there was one point where all three movies were available on HBO Max. And now they're no longer available on there. I think only one movie is available out on Max. Which is really stupid. Yes, how come they like like don't have certain movies available? I don't know, because like uh you you've heard of the Taken movies, right? Uh yes. With Liam Neeson. Yeah, they only like over on Max, they only have Taken Three available on Max. So I don't understand why they have Taken Three and not the other two uh Taken films. You know, like um, HBO Max has actually erased like all the original. Like, they got rid of uh, from the vault. Not really from the vault, but vault. But I'm talking about the Bugs Bunny, like the ones. From the oh movie. yeah, they have. They really, really have. The only time you can kind of see these cartoons is on YouTube, man. Thank you for all you YouTubers that upload these classic cartoons. A huge, huge thank you to all you YouTubers who do upload those. At least get to um, watch them. <laughs> there is a site that I have right here. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and pull it up. Um, it was actually a site that I was recently watching um, an anime series called Zoids uh, New Century. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Zoids is a really great show. Very underrated show. But um, it's called uh, WCOforever.tv. And there's and there's a lot of cartoons and um, dubbed anime on there that I really love. The problem that I have with is they don't have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero on there, which it's really hard to find Season Zero. Um, I know it's available out on YouTube right now on a certain channel, but the problem with the Season Zero that was there is it's not subbed. So you can't understand what the hell they're saying. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Chance. A cheeseburger. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um, Anika got into the point of air of airport food. And one place that I do go um, whenever I don't bring a lunch to the airport is whenever I have a lunch, I always go to the Wendy's over at uh, one of the gates uh, that I work at. And the reason why I always go to Wendy's is because they always seem to have the the, the the hamburgers or cheeseburgers that it actually tastes like you're actually getting meat. I love Wendy's so much. Um, I actually will go to Burger King every now and then, but for na- from from here on out, I'm always going to go to Wendy's for a cheeseburger. He's like, I like uh, Wendy's, um, like, like uh, chicken sandwiches. Ooh! Oh, they definitely enticed them with that burger. Yeah, they did. Anyway, continuing what you were saying about uh, our fast food hamburgers. Yeah, like I tried like the um, like the spicy chicken at Wendy's. I like their uh, spicy chicken. Oh my! <sighs> Don't even get me started on the spicy chicken. I feel like we're going to get off topic here talking yeah. about Wendy's because I don't, I don't understand it. Like Wendy's just has really good food, even though that they are a fast food district, uh, a fast food restaurant. And for some reason, their salads are really good, but is it just me or is it just really weird of how 
you pay uh ten ninety nine for a combo meal for a burger and fries, and yet you're gonna be paying almost fifteen dollars for a salad. What is the point of raising the price for a salad at a fast food joint? I just don't that's get, so like, that's so wrong. It's more money for like for leafy fruits and vegetables, like than <laughs> It's always like that for some reason. <laughs> I think so. <coughs> Excuse yeah. me. It's expensive to eat healthy, man. <laughs> I, it's expensive. To, it's expensive to eat at all. Um, I will say this though. I I am actually filming uh, the newest of YouTube channels that I am putting out there. This the first episode this upcoming Sunday. Very, very excited about that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh boy, Man, dude! Don't, really don't blow your smoke at the dogs. You deserve to have that cigar shoved up your fat ass. What are they going to do? I honestly, I, I forgot what they're going to do. With they're going to—they're awesome. taking those dogs for scientific experiments, which is oh, one of the most cruel things that anybody could do. <laughs> yes, the eye shadow man. I don't. I don't. Shadow has those eyes, man. That's just like I'm gonna get you, like a Marvel eyes, like some a superhero. A hundred dollars worth of dogs. You're you're getting a hundred dollars worth of dogs from what? Seven or eight dogs? Seven dogs. Seven dogs are worth a hundred dollars. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> He's like, you're scaring me. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Well, you're a little bit too close to kind of run him over. I'm, I'm just saying. Oh my god! Did, what the heck? Jesus! Did, ah! Oops! Oh no! Uh oh! Mm -mm. No! <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna attack him. Nope. Oh, he is! He is attacking him. The redneck is getting the better of him. <laughs> you know what? I've always found those dogs to be really pretty, but I don't know what they're called. But I see them; they're like hunting dogs. You're absolutely right. So uh, it is a blue tick coon hound. Coon hound. Mm hmm. <laughs> there you go. Show him the teeth. The teeth, yes. It's really bad. It's really bad because you're not showing no damn teeth. Damn coon hound. Bite him. Bite him. <laughs> there you go. There had to be stun double. Oh, we got it. Oh, go. Oh, my God. Wedgie. That had, to be, that had to be stun people for sure. No, I agree. That's, that's a wedgie right there. <laughs> Oh, come on, Sassy. Why you got to be such a... Why is Sassy got to be like that? Oh, my gosh. They must be wearing those big uh, jackets. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> or those pants that they have to wear. I remember when Horace and uh, Jasper were getting uh, torched by Pongo and Purdy. Uh, Jasper had them pink undies. <laughs> it's so... <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> uh, Jasper had the pink gundies. This dude's got the red <laughs> ones. Red ones with the hearts in them. <laughs> oh, I would be careful of that chicken wire. Oh, ow! Ooh, that chicken wire. Lordy day. 
<laughs> Not fun. All right, finally away with that truck. There you go. Or no, not chicken wire, barbed wires. Sorry, <laughs> barbed wires. I did the, come on. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wee! That truck deserves to be a coral reef. All right. <laughs> It is, and like looking of how much that thing sunk, it's got to be like 20 feet to the bottom. Yes. Puppies. Puppies. Oh, no. Puppies for sale. Ugh. Puppies are not for sale, man. No. <laughs> Just no. You hush up. You nearly got us killed. Why you feed it? Beat it. Your chance is right. I don't belong to the city. Lila, you oh, God. Really? Really? You're just gonna you're just gonna you're gonna hit it and quit it, Delilah? That's rude. Okay? That's very rude. That is really low by her. You know that? That's very low. You know what? I we've all been where you have been, Chance. We've all been heartbroken, okay? Because you're a bitch. Yeah. I actually, you know what? I actually just use that term in the literal sense. By the way, did you see Chance? He actually just went to the left and he just hid behind a container. <laughs> But no, I actually use bitch in the literal sense in the dictionary. That's actually kind of funny. I wasn't I wasn't trying to do that on purpose. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, let's shake some booty. She misses him. She misses him. Why did you? Why did you have to do chance like that, Delilah? Why? Like, why did you have to be that mean? I know, you could have just been listening, you know, like. It's not what you say, it's how you say things. <sighs> Why are y'all women so mean to us? <laughs> I'm not saying Anika's mean, by the way. Anika's nice. She's one of the nice ones. <laughs> but most, most of y'all women are mean. <laughs> Oh, the suicide bridge. I, I mean, the Golden Gate Bridge. I've actually seen multiple uh, like short films about people who have actually jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and survived it. That is so high. Oh, my gosh. Man. Like it really is. And there's there was a documentary on the Golden Gate Bridge where I think they filmed 37 people jumping off the bridge to their deaths. Oh my god! I, I don't want to see that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. No, it was it was it was a very. It, I could not watch the documentary. I only saw a preview of it, and I just couldn't bring myself to watch the whole. I could not bring myself to watch that documentary. Home in the burbs. <laughs> that was good, but you got to admit that was good by Sassy. Home in the burbs. Yes. <laughs> That is such a beautiful coat on that golden retriever. I know, like, just everything about sh Shadow is just pretty, like this golden retriever. I mean, like, right now, I would say that... I don't know, I would say... Oh, son of a bitch. 
Why? Why are you guys here? Stupid dogs. I mean, that's a boxer, and that's clearly a bull, uh, a bull mastiff. mastiff. Ow! Oh my god! Ooh, uh, I've actually been there before. I will actually say this: I've actually been scratched by a cat like that. That actually hurts. Ugh, especially in, but you get scratched in the ass. Yikes! Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh, that was such a stupid laugh. Oh, there's Chance. Oh, hello, there's Chance. Where did he come from? Oh my God. Follow me, chuckleheads. <laughs> um, with those two idiots, I don't think they can. See? <laughs> oh! <laughs> That'll hurt the chin a little bit. <laughs> Is it just me, or are these a Harry and Marv... Like in the Disney in the Disney universe, they kind of give that you for sure. For they kind of give those Harry and Marv vibes off. Can you imagine if Joe Pesci was the voice of that dog? Oh, that would been really cool. Oh my god, <laughs> Joe Pesci would have had to done the same thing that he did for Home Alone. He would just been like, fudge, 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 fudge. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what does. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> yeah, shut up! <laughs> I don't know. I think they picked a really good actor to do the voice of Ashcan and John. Um, Polito. He did a really good job. They both definitely played it cool, so. They definitely did. But you're absolutely right. I would have loved it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I would have loved to have heard Joe Pesci in that. <laughs> that would have been an absolute treat to hear Joe Pesci just go, fight him, fight him, fight him, fight him, fight him, fight him. Fight him, fight him. <laughs> It would have been funny. It really would have been funny because Joe Pesci is so used to playing in roles where he dropped he drops the f bomb so many damn times. He does because he tries to keep things like PG when it comes to um, like doing like uh, certain scenes, especially with Home Alone. It's like a PG film. So, well, I mean, the reason why, <clears throat> excuse me, reason why Pesci was. Um, mumbling so much in home alone was because he's so used to being in rated r films where he just cusses so much because he's a gangster so it was really hard for him not to do a scene where he doesn't cuss and there was another movie that he did where he did not drop a single f-bomb and he actually did a really good job as the acting role gone fishing with danny glover and Here's the thing. Uh, Gone Fishing is not really the best movie of all time. I'll say that. But it was definitely a it was definitely a pretty funny film. I think we gotta do that one. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> good for you, Sassy. Just good for you. <laughs> They're so eager to get home. <laughs> uh, they, they really are. <laughs> I can definitely get us back from here. Looks like one of the 
you can. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can because your directional your direction skills were not really that efficient in the last movie. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you're 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 still here. I think my headset, uh, my battery came off. My battery is is is. Can you hear me still? Oh my oh, god, that semi is just clogging up the road. <laughs> that is like way too close. It really is. No, oh no! Get Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh my gosh. Oh. Whoa. A little too close for comfort there. That was like. Whew. Yay! You didn't even have to go home to be found. I don't know what time it was. I know they found it. <laughs> I feel like it's more harder to train a cat than it is to train a dog. It is like whoever has a then whoever has trained cats in film, fantastic patience. I'm trying to figure out who the damn uh, trucker is because I don't know. Oh no, please tell me that chance is not run over. Please don't tell me that. It's not chance, man. Oh no. Don't you dare tell me that that dog got hit by a freaking semi. I have actually seen a semi actually st come to a complete stop like that, and the trailer actually goes to either the left or the right side. Oh, is that Chance? Yay, Chance! He's alive! Lucky friggin' dog. You lucky pup. Oh, you found him. Sure, you found him. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm, I'm pretty sure Chance is glad he's alive too. Okay, I'm really wanting to get an American bulldog that looks like Chance. I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't want to go. <laughs> yeah, I've been there before. I think we've all been there before. You still there, Anika? Yeah, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're getting. We're unfortunately getting an echo from Anika. She's got to. She's got to come back here in a second. There we go. Oh, is that her? Is that Delilah? Oh, why does it? Why does it? Why does Jamie seem have to be just like a, a a generic name? The Grizzlies. <sighs> yeah, kind of got our chance. Oh shit! There she is. Oh, there she is. Well, I'm on my beat by a trade now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there she is. I would I would love to know how the hell she found him. How did she? Yay! Love wins. No matter what. 
I like whether it's human know. love or doggy love. Love wins. Indeed. <clears throat> <laughs> this is so sweet. It really is. What is with your headset? It's a Beats by Dre. That's why this one, oh, the battle no. came off. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> hey, don't be a bitch, sassy. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, she came all this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, and I, I think they, I think they're gonna have puppies. Otherwise, why would she come back? <laughs> She's happy to have family. <laughs> like I said, that is such a that is such a beautiful, beautiful dog. You know, I'm not gonna lie that the uh, the voice actor that replaced uh, Shadow in uh, Ralph Wait, he did a really good job at trying to sound like Don Amenchi. He did, but actually, I could tell he also made it his own as well too. Like, he really did, and 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 I gotta give him some credit on that one. You know, the problem is that he, Chance knows her as Delilah. So what is the family going to call that dog? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, what was your first clue? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, can she, Dad? Yes, Chance will have like a nice companion. Uh, right, yeah, exactly. Since Chance, child, Chance will actually be able to exert a lot of that energy. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't mean I didn't mean for it to sound like that, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I meant he was gonna exude his energy by playing fetch. Okay, I didn't mean I didn't mean for it to sound rated R. Ugh. I hate, I hate myself sometimes. I really do. <laughs> that is such a cute little collar tag with the fire hydrant. It, it really is. I love that. Oh my gosh. By the way, remember when I said that William Sasso had a role in this movie? Here he is. Ah, ah, the, oh my God. He's driving a Mini Cooper. <laughs> He's driving a Mini Cooper. By the way, he actually was in Happy Gilmore as one of the movers. Yay! Oh, oh. Pizza! Pizza! Give me the pizza! Seriously! Seriously! Give me the pizza! Give it! Give it to me! Give it! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me that pizza! There we go. And this is making me actually want to order a pizza now. <laughs> oh my gosh that was hilarious I think I might actually order a pizza now yes oh my dog he no, loves I... pizza, he loves pizza. <laughs> this is so cute alrighty well and a new addition to the family yeah there you go and with that ladies and germs that is Homer Bound lost in san francisco okay. well before we get done before we get done with this uh, movie reaction we got to give our scores and our critique on this film and you know what honestly this movie was not as good as the first film really wasn't as good as the first film but i'm gonna give it a solid eight out of ten um I think a lot of people think that this might have been a little bit lower, but no, it's eight out of ten. Hmm. I agree. So then we're in agreement. It is eight out of ten. <laughs> well, that is going to do it for me and Anika here at Ready Set Action Commentaries. 
but do not fret. We're going to be back next week with Anika's choice of Superman. Yes, Superman. <laughs> Can I wait for that film? And then uh, the following three weeks for us, we're going to be doing South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Oh, yeah. And then Basketball and Team America. So for me and Anika, that is a cut, wrap, and print. That's all for us.